where the hell's Rouge the Bat? She should have been revealed in the first frame. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Yes, it is I, Ethan. It is he, Devin. And this that's <laughs> Sonic 3 right over there. All right, so folks, here's the deal. We're going to be watching the trailer first straight through. We're going to be doing our live reaction to it. Then we're going to hop into a podcast kind of a little version, talk about the whole thing, and kind of give our thoughts. Very open ending a little bit with this, but yeah, uh, looking forward to it. All right, Try here we go. not hover over it either. <laughs> All right. It's the moment we've been waiting for our whole lives. This is the last moment pre-Sonic Movie 3. This is the start of the new era. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, right. two, one. Sonic, you finally found your family. You did that. Keep up. That's London right there. Easy. But you didn't change who you are in here. Yeah, in my lungs. Or your heart. Okay. Okay. High level security breach. Okay. We need Team yep. Sonic's immediate oh wait, what assistance. the fuck? Hit portaling a helicopter now? Project Shadow is far beyond anything we've ever encountered. Shadow's story began a lot like your Sonic. But where you oh, found family she's gonna and get friends, shot in the face. <laughs> Shadow found only pain and loss. All right, we got a rogue alien on the loose. How do we find it? Start with the giant fireball. I love it. Let's start with a giant fireball. Hmm. Avengers? Is this in Tokyo? It's much more impressive. I'm gonna be there. Previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. You're a colorful bunch. We don't want to fight you. Actually, Sonic, I would like to fight. Count of Reason's shadow. <laughs> nice. He's just choking him. <laughs> Damn, they're like right away showing how powerful he is. <laughs> Fuck! Awesome. That's the thumbnail. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we need you know who. This is a oh, okay. okay. So they are having Robotnik help. Doctor. We have visitors. This is sad, Robotnik. Even for you. We need your help. On one condition. He needs to be bald. What? I need to see him shave. Do this! Don't worry, don't worry, you just gotta wait. Wow, wow. <laughs> I need room. But sir, I don't have the proper materials. Found some. Oh my god. When we're done, there won't be anything left. Yo, motorcycle, yes. let's go! <laughs> I mean, they made the motorcycle, so of course... Wait, was that got, Chow's? I know. What I had to. Was it? I missed it. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome home, my boy. It's impossible. He is, is it? it couldn't be. Couldn't it? I He's literally heard just playing his grandfather. The that, there was rumors day. about this. Wow. Huh. I wish it ended. Stop. Oh, man. Okay. Let's play it back. Um, Let's play it back. There's a lot to there, and I wish we got more Shadow than we did. Um, that's my first thought right now is I needed more of him. Honestly, I'm surprised how talked. much they showed. Really? But, yeah, I get you on the talking point, but I feel like uh, I feel like there was more than I was expecting, honestly. But it is a 2 minute 56 second trailer here it's actually a pretty long Round trailer. Up to three yeah i mean they gotta set the scene and do all the sonic stuff and let us know what's going on again this is a movie that has you know a story there aren't this isn't just someone's amv of shadow beating up sonic that's what i wanted to see <laughs> for the trailer i just wanted a full scene of that i guess to be fair but you know um, oh well, you gotta watch it in the movie <laughs> yes yes but yeah yes. let's uh let's run it back i'm gonna pay attention to see if those were chows i missed it if it was quick I swear I saw Chow's there. I swear they were sitting at a table and there was Chow's shit around them. All right, let's run it back. What are they doing in London? Are they just destroying shit in London? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I mean, it could be montage stuff of them chasing Shadow, you know. 
I wonder if they're going to do the, the, the Tom and Maddie stuff just at the beginning and kind of move past it for this. Because they're going to have Robotnik around a lot. Well, I see Tom, what looks like, in some sort of laboratory space. I don't know if he's he comes here, maybe? Uh, this is still the general dude speaking. Yes, this is interesting. It's like they're doing a race there, which I think is the other scenes in Green Hills. I think it's that race, probably the opening scene. You're a colorful bunch. We don't want to fight you. It is just Keanu Reeves talking. <laughs> I love it, though. <laughs> Like, Idris Elba's doing a voice. So, I like this, though. He can I like, just this go is... straight up in the air with his shoes. They are just jet shoes. No, what I like about this, though, is they're showing how powerful he is for somebody who doesn't maybe not know who Shadow is or the general audience, you know, who might see this trailer in the movie theater. They'll be like, okay, he's the venom of... <laughs> Shout out to Agent Stone, by the way. Yeah. Can we just also appreciate that Jim Carrey's back? It really did sound like he was kind of done, so I'm glad he's I'm glad he's back. Because it'd been weird to not have him as Eggman. Yeah, I mean he did retire, but I think again, highest grossing movies ever been in. Kids really love it. It's a kids movie, so he would come back for that, and he did. And he gets those to are two Chows. characters. Those were Chows. I keep missing it. I keep looking over at you every time. <laughs> And I love the motorcycle. He doesn't need a motorcycle. He's faster than a motorcycle, but he still uses one anyway. Let's right. roll it back to find that chow frame. Right there. Those are chow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what it was? It looks like, it's a, like, like a cafe ca in, in It's a Tokyo, yeah. Tokyo cafe right here. Back back uh, up a bit because there's another shot as well. Right there. I mean, <laughs> one of them, he's holding Samba de Amigo maracas. That's a that's just a Dreamcast cafe. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so chows aren't real in this movie world, but they are. I'm, I'm okay with that, by the way. <laughs> I, I mean, I, sure. Yeah. Whatever. You... Yeah. <laughs> I love it though. Uh, who's, who's that at the table with them? Is that the the general guy? It looks like. Well, he looks like he dies right there. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it's maybe <laughs> it's not Robotnik because he has hair. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> This is what I was talking about. Like it looks oh, like you know right. what? that might be Eggman's lab. Maybe, maybe he, they, maybe Shadow attacks them while they're at Eggman's lab or something. What's I read this <laughs> as? This is the area where Shadow was maybe in. Maybe they go in there. I don't know. Let me go because back they to would that, have because they would that have... looks. It's hard to tell. It looked more like bunkery. This looked a little. This looks look more like uh, this red clean. looks like a lot of. Yeah, it looks clean, and modern, like Eggman's tech. It's hard to but tell because to... it's just. Yeah, the lights are also, like, off. Ew, he's wet. <laughs> he was in that, you know, that... That goop. That goop. That goop. <laughs> Let's talk about this, actually, before we get... Uh, I like the green, by the way. Um, fits the game. I remember there's some green, like, fluid stuff in some of the, like, space sure. arc shit. That's the thing. I... Because this is on Earth. That, that place has to have been on Earth. But, like, he was in... Uh, space on the arc, but the thing was on Earth in Sonic Adventure 2. I wonder if... My point being is I wonder if they're actually going to bring up space-type stuff, or are they just going to keep it grounded literally or not? I mean, it shows the... Where was it? I think that bunker was out in the water, right? Or where the lab is, whatever you want to call this. To me, it like, just got has bunker vibes, but, um, but yeah, laboratory. By the way, I don't think the movie opens with the race. I think it opens with Shadow. We got to get that sad classic, and then we get the the juxtaposition of Sonic's happy life. You know, this this is kind of funny though. I I know it's supposed to be serious, but it is kind of funny to see like this fallen soldier with a with another guy. There's a fucking hedgehog. <laughs> at the front line. Shadow is just that cool. He's relatable. Desert. On every this is level. Desert Storm. It's 1990. You had to be there. <laughs> you had to be is there. Is this supposed to be a war zone or is this like in I the lab? Know. I think you know. I think it's when he escapes or something, and maybe. Uh, I think this, this is, is still flashback because the voiceover over this is him talking about Shadow only having pain as his back story. I was gonna say, is this his creator? But isn't Robotnik old Robotnik yeah. his creator uh, technically? Yeah. So maybe not. Um, well, unless they want to do the 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 fake out of having us see Gerald die. Good shot, by the way. I like the colors here. Good lighting too. Like, look at that. It, the movie oh, yeah. looks very good. Um, I hope that they spent uh all this extra time <laughs> making it look good. 
if that I'm makes sense. Peek, take a peek at the kicks here. Yeah, they kind of do got like... They look pretty similar to his in-game stuff. Are those Pumas? I don't think so. I think he's older than the brand. Oh, he's teleporting. <laughs> he's using chaos control, but he's not using a chaos emerald to do it. So maybe he gets know. them at some point. Maybe that's how he's able to fly too, maybe. But I also like the idea that he doesn't need that shit. I'm okay with that person. I know that kind of goes against the lore a little bit, but fuck it. Make him more alien like that. He just has abilities that Sonic doesn't have. You know, he can teleport. He can jump really uh, high. He can ride a motorcycle, you know. <laughs> he, you can't, he can ride you can't a motorcycle. Learn. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just finished watching the Sonic Movie 3 trailer for the first time. Devin, what did you think about the trailer we just watched? I honestly didn't have, like, any huge expectations I outside of, you know, I wanted to hear Shadow speak. It was, you know, rumored, heavily rumored with some reporting that it was Keanu Reeves. But, you know, it was never official official until, right. you know, the trailer comes out, right? So we heard him speak twice. He does... Say very short lines, but very. Uh, to me, it was very John Wick esque, uh, which I'm Absolutely, okay with. Yeah. But I, I do want him speaking a little bit more. I'm sure we'll get that in the movie. Uh, we don't need to. They don't need to blow all his lines through uh, the trailer, you know. So save it for the movie. We've also both been on record for trail when it comes to trailers. Like, don't show all the acts necessarily. Don't show like major plot points uh, in trailers because we want to be surprised when you're in the theater like, oh crap. So I'm glad they didn't show too much of, I guess, shadow speaking on on that hand, but I think they showed just an, uh, a good amount. But then they also just showed shadow in general a lot more than I was expecting. I thought he was going to be maybe at the end of the trailer and then Keanu Reeves was going to speak and then it was going to just end like that but no this this was a two minute 52 second trailer with a lot of action which is i think a big piece for me as well because you know i think the first movie had some action moments right but it was very much a you know we're traveling movie uh we have some set pieces that they run into but you right. know the action was kind of sparse for the most part and the second one they upped it a little bit more especially with that third act against you know the giant robot mech uh, Robotnik there, which is like a cool ending for that, even though they uh, I still wish they didn't show that in the trailer <laughs> when that first came out yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll get more into the, the what we feel I guess like uh, what we can maybe guess a little bit of from this trailer in terms of story um, and whatnot, but but yeah, we got uh, uh, what seems to be a lot of action, I hope that's not the only action in this trailer, I hope this trailer isn't just showing all the action sequences in this movie, and then there's, you know, just going to be a lot of, I guess, drama, right? Where there's going to be, you know, characters sure. talking or trying to get to one place or the next. So I we'll guess- see on that front. But that's my, I guess, a concern I have is based off the last time we had a Sonic movie trailer where it did show all three acts, and we were pretty spot on when we did our predictions. Uh, I know we're doing probably like a really in depth prediction episode for our podcast at some point. Um, so I don't want to go too much into it, but I feel like there is a little bit here where I feel like if we, you know, even just watching it a couple times, uh, we were able to see some, I feel like chunks and I feel like you can kind of yeah. logically put them together in a certain way. But yeah, I think the action is, I'm very interested on that front. I think that's, what's going to be really uh, good for, you know, families, uh, especially, you know, who are going to see this movie for the kids, right? You know, you play the Sonic games, but you know, kids also use their imagination. They have toys and stuff and they want to, they want to see their favorite characters battle on the big screen. I, I get it as a Godzilla fan. <laughs> I get it. So like you want to see your favorite monsters battle. You want to say your, you want to see your favorite characters battle. So, um, I think it's the first like big, big two things for me is how much they did show of shadow, how much he spoke, but also just how much emphasis on the trailer, at least the marketing, was on action. So those those three things, I think, are my big takeaways. Okay, okay. Um, I did like the trailer a lot on, like, the second and third rewatch. The first one, there's so much going on here. And, you know, I'm also watching it on um, a small Discord screen share thing. So I got to watch it, <laughs> you know, at its full um, glory after we are done talking here. Um, so like, it was just a lot of noise and colors and sounds and, and, and we're also, you know, reacting over it. So first time I was like, well, this is a lot, but not a lot. Rewatch felt more substantive. I called it on those chows. I saw those chows that first time. Yeah, no, I liked it. Shadow doesn't talk too much. They're obviously saving anything substantive. He's going to be saying 
for the movie or a prob there's going to be at least two more trailers like a trailer two and a you know long release day available there's gonna be a 30 second teaser which will probably be a shortened version of this that you'll Um, see at the theaters um in the next coming months here i don't well first off i don't think that we've seen much if at all of the third act i'll leave it at that i think there's maybe one line sonic says to shadow where i feel like that is a second time encounter that they have um, I think they, they basically set it up, you know, when they meet him for the first time. And I think that we're getting my my theory is that we're going to be getting a lot of Robotnik in this and, and Sonic and not Shadow. We're going to be seeing him in a couple instances. But just putting that stuff aside, because we want to have a big discussion on our predictions on the movie in a full blown episode of the show on this podcast. Please subscribe. I was a little bit annoyed. I'm going to throw this out there. I get that it's going to be in the context of the movie better and i get that within um, the context of the series required and what we like kind of annoyed at the cut aside jokiness of like knuckles and 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 sonic and each other when they're when we see shadow for the first time and we have to have like a a pause where knuckles says a joke at sonic's expense and sonic stops taking in the seriousness of this to react to that but Again, this is cut to a trailer. The trailer was built up to the shadow thing, and we have it undercut by that there joke. Was, and but, from the um, first movie, too, remember the meow joke? When that first initial trailer with the old Sonic design came out, we were kind of both like, eh, whatever. I guess it's it'll probably be maybe funnier in the movie. And it wound up being actually pretty funny in the movie. Um, so I, I agree sure, with that. Sure, like, I mean, that trailer, was also, that trailer was also cut to be a lot of jokes and a lot of fun, and this was cut to be more serious. Um, this is dif- this was definitely a different trailer than than the first movie's trailers. Um, even even that god awful sure. animation version, the initial first trailer. But yeah, I am very curious to see how they're going to be able to balance. We say this, we said this with the second movie, and we're saying it again here. Or at least I'm saying it now. I wonder how they're going to be able to balance having the human characters and these, you know, hedgehogs foxes and echidnas running around we didn't get any amy or rouge or anyone else i mean that's i I should have said at the top that's the biggest disappointment where the hell's rouge the bat she should have been revealed in the first frame i don't think that they're coming i don't think that they're coming (laughs) i don't think they're coming um maybe as a a end credits thing i I know i'll call it here first we'll get probably amy or somebody there will be an end credit like they're not gonna stop with three Unless this bombs horribly. But even then, they've already filmed whatever they're going to have for their post-credits anyway. They're going right. to reveal something. We'll talk about that another day, probably after the we see the movie. Um, well, we'll <laughs> you know, I, predictions. I think we last time we predicted they could jump. They could just jump straight into like silver the hedgehog or something i forgot what we were saying i feel like that'd probably be the bigger reveal for this but yeah we can we we have time to discuss that as we get closer and get more trailers and stuff and absolutely absolutely keanu reeves just doing keanu reeves voice works for me idris elba like i was saying um, we were reacting to it is not doing idris elba idris elba is british and while he's not doing his american voice that he does in in like um hobbs and shaw <laughs> and any of those or prometheus even i don't actually remember what his accent sounded like i just made an assumption there but uh he's he's doing a voice and we know tails is the same voice actor that does tails in the video games so she's just doing tails sonic is doing his like Boston, <laughs> slight Boston type of accent for him. Um, that's not what Ben Schwartz sounds like. But have Keanu Reeves just do Keanu Reeves to me makes sense because number one, that is just his voice in every movie, first off. And number two, he's not a live actor um, in this movie. No, not in uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. He does have an accent. Or that's okay. hit or miss at moments in that movie, unfortunately. But it's still whatever. It's a cool movie. <laughs> He's an actor overall that people are hit or miss on. Be like, oh, like when Cyberpunk came out, people were like, oh, his acting's horrible. I'm like he's doing Keanu Reeves. Like this is what you want. If you don't want this, then you don't want Keanu Reeves. That kind of a thing. So for me, for this, it's like okay, he's not a live actor, so he's just doing his his voice, his John Wick serious voice and. 
I'm excited for that. I'm sure the second trailer will show more of the backstory stuff with Shadow. We barely saw any of that. A little disappointed in that. Because, but again... I, but I'm you, always on the team have... of save it for the movie. Save it, sure. Don't, we don't need yeah. to show everything in the trailer. So, like, they showed snippets of it. That leads for the discussions like we're having right now. People, for fans to be like, oh, are they pulling from this game? Is it going to be, you know, a fresh new right, idea? Right. What is it going to be? So, for me, I'm like, I'd rather have mystery every time uh, and we don't know if it's pulling anything from any game other than just the literal idea of shadows origin even vaguely yes we see maria there we have gerald robotnik but like for all we know they could make a lot of liberties with that um they could have so many changes in how it works are they gonna do the sonic adventure 2 stuff with like the bio lizard that shadow fights the true ultimate life form are they going to say ultimate life form? I feel like they have in marketing. I feel like they tweeted about that stuff, maybe. Um, that I thought phrase. the Xenomorph was the ultimate life form, mm-hmm. according yes. to Prometheus. See, tied it back to your other comment. Oh, earlier. that's right. That's um, right. I mean, <laughs> God made that to kill us. So, of course, Shadow would become <laughs> that version in the Sonic. I mean, he looks like Sonic, and he was created. Um, that's true. Oh, folks, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm never wrong, just to throw that out there, but... I read but have not seen, so I don't know if the games do this or if this is some comic book stuff. Yes, I am doing this motion with my hand to dismiss the comic books. If I recall, they claim post, like afterwards, that uh, Shadow was created. You know how he's got his quills are like um, pointed up in the back? They're like that, and then the bio lizard that that final boss fight, so to speak, in Sonic Adventure 2 is the general lizard-like shape he is. Because they saw murals of supersonic fighting chaos at the end of Sonic Adventure that were predictions in the past. They're like, well, we got to make these guys. So Shadow is made based because supersonic has his spiky things pointed up in the back. And chaos is vaguely, I don't know, shaped lizard-like. You didn't even see uh, the chaos emeralds in this trailer at all, which I'm okay with, by the way. I... I think they used it how they wanted to use it for the, the second movie. I'm totally okay with them. I mean, they did show them at the end of the second movie, like at the end, be emphasizing it. Uh, even in the Knuckles TV show, they were referenced. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they didn't mention uh, it at all. Yeah. They didn't mention it at all in this trailer, but maybe they're saving it for a particular scene. Like, I maybe Shadow absorbs them really early on in the film, and it becomes a, you know, that's why he's so power. maybe becomes more powerful, you know, uh, there's so many ways they can I, take that, but I I'm okay them not he's showing it for. in the trailer. Or honestly, if they just you know kept it kind of on the download and kind of forgot about them, I wouldn't necessarily hate that either. Because yeah, they weren't in the first movie, but again, different stakes on the production of that film and you know with the studio and all that, um, what they were trying to do, right? So um, it makes sense that they wanted to keep that simple. That was the focus of the second movie, so to speak. It was the Master Emerald, then they become the Chaos Emeralds, but then they get reformed. My gut assumption now, after having this little discussion here, is, I mean, because, like, what is Shadow trying to do? He wants to get back at humanity for, you know, whatever reason we know, and his backstory will tell us, you know, in the games, is because Maria was shot in the face, pow, and that's apparently enough for him. I hope they show that. He's a tortured figure. They don't cut away. I I just want to see the the, the, the geyser of blood splatter out the back (laughs) of her head. Oh. (laughs) But I I bet Shadow's like, oh, if I get... Uh, these chaos emeralds I can do the thing I want and so that's his driving force and you know and they're in Tokyo um, that's probably the case yeah, yeah for at least that bet, first honestly. encounter yeah I am I am interested first off granted yeah while well, he was in the post credits surprised that the freaking general guy's back again I think he's kind of like I mean he's a good comedic kind of character from yeah I mean, I mean he was in the first one he was you know had his moments but he had definitely more time in the second one yeah yeah uh, so i guess it makes sense to kind of maybe bring him you know even maybe up his time a little bit it seems he might be at that table it's really hard to tell we we, we stopped yeah. it we stopped it's it hard at to that tell, right moment he has white hair because he's old but and it's that dark guy in like there he had dark hair but yeah again it's dark and um because maybe that is where he's telling sonic about shadows you know, origin or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? Um, we're going to do a bigger prediction episode. Jeez. And like a month from now. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, curious to see if we get another like trailer in the next month, maybe. And then maybe we do it after that to kind of just solidify our kind of, you know, uh, thoughts. Um, 
based off maybe there's maybe a little bit, a couple extra new scenes or frames that we could look at that can maybe determine, yeah. you know, some story stuff. But You know what we're going to um, do? In honor of Zoom's 24-7, we're going to go frame by frame through this trailer. <laughs> Not Rest in real peace. time. We're gonna rest in one... peace. They they didn't finish their journey. Uh, yeah, that Twitter stupid account. Elon Musk <laughs> ruined like good things. You know, Classic. he got ad views from me going to that page. You know what I mean? He got he lost it. Said he needed to have his truck explode. Any anything else we want to talk about with this trailer? I guess the big thing, you know, I mean, we all already kind of knew it, but just seeing it in the trailer, it's kind of hitting you know, more real in this way. Cause it is real. Um, December shadow is real. Subscribe shadow is real. <laughs> yeah. I wrote that in the uh, description. <laughs> oh, I was like, what are you saying? <laughs> I said, if you if, I said, if folks subscribe shadow becomes a real boy or something like oh, that. I got you. Um, yeah, no December, you know, it's going to go up against, it says to be fair, it says December, not December 20th, but it's December 20th. They can move it up or move it back. Yeah. They need to, but I mean, it's going to go up against a real big challenge is Mufasa, which, I feel I'm confident. People... I think if I if I'm a 29 year old man, you're a 29 year old man. If I'm a child right now, and I see the and I obviously parents have the ultimate say on what movie we're going to go see, and obviously they're probably going to lean towards the fucking Disney shit. Um, but if I'm a child and I'm seeing the trailer for The Lion King, Mufasa, and Sonic the Hedgehog three, I'm sorry. I'm excited for Sonic 3, and if I had but a that's choice not as a what child... Determ- but that also is not what determines premium screenings and how many screens you get. Disney has a I don't cold. think I don't think this is getting the shaft, though. I think this is getting as much I mean, I hope you're right, but like... Or major multiplexes. I can see the first opening weekend being, at best, like, I'm talking about, like, premium, the Dolby Theaters, uh, Cine... Cinemax or whatever they want to—I don't know what the other ones are called. In the other, uh, I only go to AMC, but I know there's like different premium ones for different movie theater chains. Um, I can see at best those being split fifty-fifty, and then they're gonna see what fills more, and then that's gonna be the termination for the rest of the next week. If Sonic doesn't fill, I feel like that weekend and Mufasa is doing more, and you gotta remember there is a die-hard Disney fan base out there that will always yeah, show weird. up um <laughs> i say that throwing stones from my glass house of nintendo and sega and, and i got a tekken <laughs> man behind me so I, i'm but just saying like i think we gotta weird. also like temper our expectations too for the preparation that there is a chance that mufasa lion king uh will be leading the box office on the opening I think weekend. it's possible i think it's, I think it's but a, i don't think i think it's a good chance i'll say i don't know if it's i'm not saying sure Discount. I don't Sonic think Paramount 3. should be afraid, though. I don't think they should be like, we got to run away. I think yeah. they know what they got, and they know the joke hold that... I mean, yeah. this trailer just, enough, You make a I lot more like... money from the premium seating, though. That's where you make a lot of the... Because those are $25, $30 tickets, depending where you live. Versus... Yeah, but how much is that money going to the studio and that's going to the theater? Like, how does that split happen? You well, I mean, I mean, the the theaters basically will determine... I mean, also... Disney, like I said, has a chokehold on the market where they pay more to have those screens, anyways. So I don't know what those num- like we don't see those numbers, but that's why. And they also like, withhold if they don't get their way. They'll be like, we just won't go with you. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's been plenty of movies that I've wanted to see, let's say on Dolby or IMAX, right? And that movie will be kicked out immediately because well, there's a new Disney movie out, uh, and that that movie does bad. But it doesn't matter because they they get that. But I'm saying like, still they want they're gonna still look at how many tickets are sold, how many butts are in the seat to determine the rest. Because that you have to do good on your opening weekend. That's just how it works, no matter what. There has been movies that have like a slight build up because there's some hype around them. Then you know they get an increase, but they won't get those premium screenings, and they they don't those do matter a lot. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. I, I'm You're hoping predicting I'm, I'm only hoping one wrong. person will ever see the movie. I'm predicting everyone on the planet will see the movie. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I'm going to make the prediction now. This is my prediction. This, you don't have to share this prediction. This is my prediction. Um, this will do better um, than Mufasa, Lion King, overall. That overall is my prediction. box office? Overall, worldwide. No. Whole thing. Whole shebang. No way. That is my prediction. I don't think so. That's it might prediction. do better. It could. It would have to. You have to. Sonic Three would have to beat Mufasa in 
opening weekend for that thing. So you would know will. right away. I think it will. Ethan, that's <laughs> my prediction. Trailer, Mufasa that's has my been prediction. in the theaters for trailers. We were, people, were, we just did a whole <laughs> epi, uh, uh, a video on their where the where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? They're gonna lose their marketing window. Um, and now they've done the trailer, and now the marketing begins, and now this will. But be I'm in saying Disney has been marketed thing. since April, and they have a lot of bigger budget behind them. I just saying, I don't think they're. I Sonic could even beat them opening weekend, but it won't matter because Disney's still a much bigger name than Sonic the Hedgehog is worldwide. You're Forgetting making you're Europe. making a compelling argument, but I just think you're wrong. I I I, I am predicting Sonic is going to do better. That's my That's prediction. Fine. I but hope yes. you're right, though. Of course, I'm not. By the way, I'm hoping he's right. I just want to emphasize that. I We're going to edit I'm that to being... him so that he just says he's right, and then that's going to be it. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, it's possible, right? The, the, the Disney just gets their way whenever they feel like they want to get their way, right? That's just the way it is. I I just feel like, and of course, this is we just watched the trailer. There is momentum literally within the rooms that we are recording this in. I can see this momentum carrying um, into December. We only got a few months left. They are going to push it hard. Maybe they're not, but I think they are. Yeah. I mean, yes, that's the thing. Parents do pick the movies that kids go to see overall, but I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog is a trusted brand. How many children from those freaking 90s are now have kids now and they'll be like, oh, yes, that type of thing. And how it's many possible. kids from the 90s watched Lion King and grew up and now want to go see the new Lion King? And then the saw the and King. saw the 2019 <laughs> live action was like, oh, okay, I don't need to see another that one. That movie now. still got, I believe, a billion or uh yeah. Like oh, 100. it did it did a lot of money because it was so, just the movie you gonna... saw as a kid. I don't see this Mufasa movie doing anything Beyonce's similar. Beyonce's in it, you already that. got guaranteed her Spotify listener account, whatever her Spotify She's listener washed. account is. No one listens to Beyonce. <laughs> That's not true. She's not Taylor <laughs> Swift. See, that, I, if, I would believe you more if Taylor Swift was in the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. You know what? Because trailer two, she's Amy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and they're going to be like, there we and go. she's going to sing a song, so everyone get up and walk around the theater and sing. It's the Eras Tour movie. That's right. Okay. Any any final thoughts? Any final thoughts? I gl- the length of the trailer was cool. Uh, I'm glad we got... I thought it was going to be, honestly, like a minute 20. Like I, I think it's a pretty long trailer for what uh, these how these typically go. But I think they were saving it and fine-tuning it. And I think it's a good trailer. My only critique is I wish they ended it with the logo instead of cutting to Eggman. You know, yeah. that Eggman thing is interesting. I think that could have been in I the middle have... of the trailer at some point. Or and then you trailer just leave... two. You cut, you know... Yeah, um, but yeah. I mean, still, I would give this, you know, out of our our tears. If we had a, if we had tears no, for we're trailers. The tears to trailers. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd, I'd an give a. it an A. Yeah, yeah, we're on the same page. A A A tier for the trailer. Um, there's a stream idea. We watch all the Sonic trailers and freaking rank, we rank them. them. There we go. That's <laughs> oh my that's God. content, baby. That's How about this? Though? How about this though? Before we uh, end this one, out of all the trailers we've. All the Sonic movie trailers. Do you think this is the best one? I think so. Well, I mean, it's got Shadow the Hedgehog, and that's just what I want. I'm gonna say yes. But, but to be fair, I mean, that, I that, just watched that redo, it. So <laughs> that redo of the when the Sonic redesign came out, that was pretty crazy, though. That yeah, because like, they did it. They actually did it. That's pretty wild. We guys, but, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna have to watch them all. Uh, we're next time we're streaming <laughs> together. We're gonna have to watch them all. I guess. Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, folks, for watching this little video. Yeah, we review a bunch of video game movies here on the channel, and uh, we do a bunch of streams, and we do a bunch of stuff. But Sonic Movie Three is our big hype factor for the rest of the year. So that stock is going up. Remember when we used to do the stock market, the uh, Sonic stock? You you pushed for it. I didn't understand <laughs> it. Um, I just went with it. I'm like, I think I think it's, I know it's what we're doing. How hype it was! Like if you're buying, you're selling right, right now. Right. right. You bu- you should have bought you should have bought a couple weeks ago because that was in the dip and now it's to the oh but all so. those freaking Reddit stock uh, idiots are like oh my love a tasty dip anytime this goes down a little bit they're like I'm gonna buy a bunch <laughs> if price goes down I you know price goes but here, up I buy but here at the spite, Sonic movie show say. here at the Sonic movie show we always buy no matter always what because we got to because we have to it's our job, we have to so. and you know what you have to do subscribe or Shadow the Hedgehog will not be in the movie bye. Bye. Bye.